Hello everybody. Sorry I haven't recorded anything in a while. I've kind of been a little under the weather here and there because of crop season and everything. My allergies have been acting up a lot so I haven't had a real good chance to record anything in a while. And so I decided that today I would finally record something. And since I haven't recorded Funko Friday in a while, I figured, hey, it's Friday. Why not? So today I'm going to review my only minion that I have from all the Despicable Me series. Because they came out with like Funkos for Despicable Me 2 and everything. And I only have the evil minion. Because I found him. They had him and Carl. But by the time it these had gone on clearance from $9.99 to $7.49. Carl was already sold, so I did not get Carl, sadly. Yeah. Carl was one of the ones that I really wanted because he had, he's one of the one-eyed minions. There we go. Yeah. I wanted Carl, and then, you know, eventually I'll work on getting Gru, Agnes, Dave, and Carl. But for right now, I'm just going to stick with the evil minion because that's all I have for right now. And then there's the shot of the side, the top, and the bottom. Now, if you bought this at any other store, the tag would probably be right down here for the price. At least I think if it's at like Hot Topic or something, but I've never bought a Funko from Hot Topic. I've bought, I bought this one at Myers. My Domo one I bought at Six Flags, and my Jack Skellington one that I haven't shown you guys yet. I got that one um, from Disc Replay, which is a store in Lafayette, Indiana, and they also have one, I guess, in Champaign, Illinois, but I don't know where at. So he's out of the box. And from the camera, he doesn't really look that bad. He actually looks quite amazing actually. But what you can't see is that some of the paint isn't so well right here because there's like a bit missing there and a bit missing there. But I mean if you look at him closely he's designed very well. He's got a scratch mark there. Yeah. There's a reason why I don't take these out of the box. They just get ruined too quickly because they can get scratch marks and stuff all over them because I let my friends touch them sometimes when they come over because they're just like what is a Funko which it kind of surprises me that these cost as much as they do because they're very 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 lightweight some of them like this one barely weighs anything the Dumbo one that I have that one weighs a little, a little bit more than this one my Jack one pretty much weighs nothing which it surprises me that they cost around like 10 bucks or so because they really don't weigh that much but I guess at the same exact time you're paying for the brand name not the actual Funko itself you're paying for the partial is paying for the Funko and then partial is paying for the like I feel like if you sold a Funko by itself it would be around five bucks or so it, depending on the weight of it I feel like it should also depend on the weight, but then again, you got to think of the plastic that goes into it, because, like, all Funkos are plastic, pretty much, just, like, a really, really hard plastic, and so, yeah. They don't seem like they should be as expensive as they are, because at Hot Topic, they sell most of them for pretty expensive, so, yeah. That's all I have to say about that. Have a pony test today.